that sumptuous feast right there is because we're celebrating my buddy Lobo's fifth birthday and uh, that's Kurgan that's who the other bowl is for it is my buddy Lobo's fifth birthday and uh, this is gonna be his uh, birthday mukbang video I'll show you what we got right there we've got a sweet potato pie got some shrimp around there turkey neck some chicken feet got some sardines in here big chicken leg quarters some beautiful beef ribs and uh, down underneath some of that is also some uh, chicken liver let's see this bowl for Kurgan has the same I know he's gonna enjoy this You can see uh, Lobo uh, is picking through and seeing what he has. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lobo. Happy birthday to you and many more let's give him a punch to grow a bunch and a pinch to grow an inch <laughs> you can see both uh, Lobo and Kurgan have uh, chosen to go at those beef ribs first and uh, gotta say I don't blame them they look pretty good I'm tempted to keep those for myself My, dog eat, my dogs eat what's called the BARF diet, which is an acronym for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. It was a diet created by veterinarian Ian Billinghurst. It's one of several raw diets out there. I've left pretty plenty of links in the video description if you'd like to learn more about it and how to implement it. Raw bones are perfectly safe for your dogs. It's only cooked bones that are dangerous. My dogs all live in the house for those who will ask. We're just outside filming a birthday eating video. Kurgan is merely in the kennel because Lobo is the subject of this video. If you'd like to see the dogs eat together, I have plenty of videos showing that. Lobo is a long coated shepherd from Working Lines. Both of his parents come from Easy Brook Kennels in uh, Pennsylvania. Now this is not what a typical raw meal would look like. This is, uh, again, more than I would normally feed them. It's a celebration. It's his birthday video. And uh, we all like to be a little gluttonous occasionally on our birthdays, right? See Lobo has an absolutely beautiful coat. That's the result of his raw diet. He's been eating raw his whole life.
good birthday thumbnail. It's actually much cheaper to feed your dogs a raw diet than it is a, a standard kibble diet. And if you look in the video description, uh, I have a video showing me buying raw food showing that you can do it for cheaper than kibble. You don't have to worry about raw food bacteria with dogs. 36% of dogs carry salmonella as a natural part of their gut flora. They have stronger digestive juices and a shorter g tract than we do, making them biologically designed to deal with raw food bacteria. Got some big storms the last several days, so I've got a bunch of crud on the ground from uh, my big oak tree up there. So I was dropping stuff. I owe Lobo a big debt. I, uh, a lot of people don't know, but when I started my channel five years ago, I was recovering from a uh, severe injury I got on the job. I was hit by a truck loading an animal into my animal control vehicle late at night. And uh, it left me unable to walk for a little while and using a cane for several years. The channel started uh, as me uh, shooting some videos of uh, what I do with my dog uh, and where we walk him that I wanted to show a friend from out of town and the video was too large to send him uh, by email so I uploaded it to YouTube and I uh, was surprised when other people started watching and subscribing and the channel's just kind of grown from there but uh, what I owe Lobo is uh, you know, when I was hurt and using a cane for all those years, uh, I walked with a pretty bad limp and I needed a dog that uh, I could walk with year round in all weather uh, to help motivate me to get out daily and, you know, try to fix myself. And uh, Lobo was the dog that did that. Uh, every day in all weather we go out uh, walking and uh, it's really helped with my recovery. I, I don't need to use a cane anymore. I still deal with a lot of chronic pain, but uh, you know I, I've got some mobility back, and I owe that to both Lobo and Kurgan. And uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Two best friends a guy could have. I've owned and loved many dogs over the years, but uh, these two dogs really hold a special place in my heart, both Lobo and Kurgan. And again, I think it's because uh, you know they were with me and helped me recover, you know, those years. Usually in my YouTube videos when you see me crouching with the dogs and doing a selfie, it's because my uh, 
sciatica from my injuries acting up. I, I still deal with a lot of pain from that. So now you know my secret. <laughs> the dents and dings we pick up as we get older. Again, he's just merely in there because this video is about Lobo. I have plenty of videos of them all eating together. There he's munching through a turkey neck. frozen strawberry there. Eating some frozen raspberries. I don't know if I mentioned that in my other vehicle, uh, my other uh, feeding videos, but a uh, cheap way to feed them berries is you can buy those bags of uh, frozen berries. Those are pretty cheap year round compared to buying fresh and the dogs don't care. Some uh, chicken liver he's eating. Raspberry. My dogs love berries. The chicken leg quarter now he's working on. Again, if you'd like to learn more about how to feed a raw diet, I've left plenty of links in the video description. I'm just some guy on YouTube. Don't take my word for this stuff. You should always research before implementing it. And again, I provided many links in the description for you to do that.
chicken leg quarter down the hatch. Shrimp there. More berries. You don't get shrimp that often. There's a chicken foot. Chicken foot feet are very good for dogs with arthritis. I've read uh, in a couple of different spots that uh, one chicken foot is the equivalent of uh, giving your dog uh, like 450 milligrams of glucosamine. Uh, again, it's something I've read. I, it's not something I've tested scientifically, but uh, I do give them to my dogs regularly and I don't seem to have any problems with dogs with arthritis. But a cheap natural way to uh, potentially treat it if you do have a dog suffering with that. Again, look it up. Uh, I'm just some guy on YouTube, but uh, that's something that I've discovered through my years of doing this. I've owned dogs for about 30 years. I was an animal warden for almost two decades and have fed raw for about two decades. So 
I do have a lot of experience at this, but uh, don't pass myself off as any kind of nutritional expert or uh, vet. I have left links in the video description from those people, though, if you'd like to learn more. chicken feet like popcorn they munch through them. <laughs> We're going over there munching through his food. Bunch of liver in there with those berries. Happy birthday, buddy. Couldn't ask for a better friend. down a tree uh, of a neighbor's uh, a few houses down if you're hearing those trucks in the background that's the uh, big truck of the guys that are cutting the tree in the alley hopefully we can finish this video before they break out the chainsaws <laughs> But I can see this video has gotten to be uh, almost 25 minutes long, so I think I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that uh, notification bell down below, and you'll get uh, email notifications when my new videos come out. Again, I want to watch, uh, wish my homie here, uh, Mr. Lobo, a very happy fifth birthday. And... Uh, Got Kurgan over there celebrating in the back. The other dogs are in the house uh, eating a meal uh, that's pretty much the same as these two here. And uh, they're enjoying those inside. That's all. Bye.